This screencast is going to focus on a new collaboration tool uh, that you can utilize in your classroom for free. Uh, I think it's really cool um, whether you're doing, you know, an anticipatory set, doing KWLs, uh, doesn't really matter. I can think of a hundred different uses for this particular uh, program and what it is, this, this online application will uh, allow you and your class to have an online forum and it's especially cool when you have uh, you know a, a projected screen of some kind and you can pull up the forum and kids can contribute to other kids ideas uh, you can view them all at the same time up on the screen and 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 talk about them uh, you can share uh, video photos uh, as well as ideas so um, it's called Lino and uh, the English version is available at en.linoit.com which is the URL in the browser above now I'm not signed in to Lino right now and the reason for that is I want you to see that it's free and that it's easy to access. So I haven't, already, I haven't set one. I have one already set up. I just want to demonstrate the features. And if you're interested, feel free to contact me and we'll uh, talk about getting a little bit of training. Probably take about 15, 20 minutes to really uh, give you a little tour of it and get you started. It really isn't uh, too difficult. So this is the uh, website. I'm going to show you. I'm not signed into Google. I'm not signed into Twitter. Um, you can sign into this with your Twitter ID. Uh, I created one with my Twitter ID earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the one that I created. So here's um, one for new teacher orientation. Actually, that opened up with Chrome. I'm going to open it with Safari to show you that it works without being signed in. There you go. So Hammerhead1983 is my Twitter ID. Um, I set this forum to public. So I can choose a sticky, I can break it down here, and you know, I can say, oh, I thought the most important character from the book was Atticus Finch. Okay, something like that. And then uh, you can actually alter the color as well, and then I can post it. And maybe, you know, you can have people respond to, to this, you can have kids leave their names and things. And you can embed uh, YouTube video, Vimeo, Ustream videos as well. All you have to do is paste the URL there. Uh, what's kind of cool is you could actually have kids watch a video, like you could embed it in the middle of the page, you know, have them all, you know, play it as a center and then contribute to it or leave a comment about it um, around the video on the canvas here. Uh, you can post pictures um, the same way. So that uh, if you have... Here, let me show you. So, I mean, you can you can obviously just just keep posting ideas. So I say, uh, my favorite part of To Kill a Mockingbird was when Atticus shot the dog. Okay, and then you just go ahead and post it. And so imagine this is another student's. And then you'll have a whole bunch of them, and they can be displayed up on, you know, the Promethean board, your interactive whiteboard, whether it's just a projection unit. doesn't even need to be that. If you have two or three classroom computers, you know, four or five classroom computers, you can have groups work around the screens, and everything that you're seeing on this screen is showing up on the other four or five screens, however many you have in your classroom. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at rhanrahan at kcsd96.org. Thank you for watching.